to ride it out with you guys just getting into it. Yeah, we wanted to finish what we started, and, and our goal at the beginning of the year was to win national championship. So, um, big believer in finish what you start, and uh, we got a special group of guys right here, and, and uh, you know, I, I, there's no way I could have left them. Uh, Coach, I see a lot of emotion in your face right now. What does this win mean to you, you and the team? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's just a situation where we got a special team. Um, we faced a lot of adversity this year. Um, and, and to come out here and, and get a win on the road like this versus the number two team in the country, undefeated team, um, it's just a special moment. And a special moment for these guys, for our university, uh, for everyone included. Lindsay, you, um, <laughs> you just kept getting big chunks of uh, plays out there. Six touchdowns tonight, five last week. Could you just talk about your... Overall play in this game. Um, you know, I just go out there and do what they tell me to do. You know, make the right reads, uh, throw the ball where I should throw it. Um, you know, none of, none of that stuff's possible without you know amazing coaching staff, amazing offensive line. You know, great athletic wide receivers. Um, I probably I say it every week. You know, I just throw the ball. They do the rest. So uh, yeah, I probably ran a little more today. But um, but uh, we do. Our coaches do a great job of kind of scheming things up. And you know, when, when you got great coaches like that, all you got to do is go out and execute. You know, so. On the final drive, what, what were you looking for? Um, the same thing, you know, we look for all game. Um, I think uh, we had a great plan and it's kind of working. And, uh, you know, when when you have such a dynamic offense and you've got a two minute drive, it, uh, it's a it's a you know, luxury because you just go out next year like you've been doing all game. Um, you know, uh, the biggest thing I thought was just, you know, go make a play. And, uh, you know, a great guy like Taylor Grimes, stay ahead of the sticks, you know, and get ourselves in a good position to score. So that's what we did. Coaches usually say good quarterbacks take what the defense gives them. What did they give you that allowed you to be so successful tonight? Um, I think uh, you know they 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 they're a very aggressive defense. Play a lot of man coverage. A lot of take some shots, and uh, a lot of us kind of manipulate them a little bit with uh, some some twisting things down the field, stuff like that. And then up front, um, you know, uh, they, they they did a good job early on blitzing, and then we kind of changed the scheme up and was able to kind of attack uh, those blitzes in the run game, and um, you know. Uh, you know, they kept doing what they did and, and, and we adjusted pretty well. And, uh, you know, shout out to Coach Leftwich, Coach Kenny. Um, you know, two great offensive minds, um, you know, putting us in position to do that. You went on side kick twice on you guys and you really wanted to keep it out of your hands. Yeah. Now, how much, not necessarily pressure, but a feel to when you go out, you've got to make it count when you go. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a, a position that no one wants to be in, you know, uh, no matter what side of the ball it is. Uh, but I think one thing that kind of allowed us to continue playing at a high level is that. Uh, we treated every drive like it was the most important drive of the game. You know, uh, we knew we had to score points this game. Uh, you know, I was constantly telling the offense, the offensive line, the wide receivers that you know this drive is the most important drive. You know, you gotta go score every single, every single one. So, uh, you know, you got the number one team offense in the nation and number four offense in the nation playing against each other. You're just gonna get some points scored, and at the end of the day, you know, we're gonna score more points. Coach, what does it take to uh, put together a team to play around this type of talent? I'm sorry, I was... uh, I'm sorry. What does it? What... Does it take to put a team around this type of talent like this? Yeah, man, we got we got a special group of players, a special group of coaches, um, and they put in the work every day uh, since we got here. They believed in the vision. Um, and like I said, we've, we've been preaching national champion. We've been preaching champions um, on and off the field since we got here. And these guys really uh, believed in that. And, 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 and here we are today. And it seems like he's, he's the type of player to make everybody, you know, bring out the best of everybody. Is that correct? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, he's the best player in the country, and he should he proves it every week. Um, so, just you know, hats off to him. And like he says, we got a great offensive line, great defense, great receivers. It's, it's a team effort every time we step on the field. Coach, can you take him with you to your next stop? Exhausted on my eligibility. Lindsay, your coach said that you're the best player in the country. Would you're a humble guy? But what do you think? Uh, I think we got the best offense in the country. Oh, that's what I think. Um, you know, uh, I can do all that, all that boasting and stuff. You know, when I'm done, you know, and, you know, bragging to my grandkids and whatnot. But for now, you know, I'm just a quarterback of amazing offense, an amazing team. I'm just going to do my job every week. DJ, there, there's onside kicks in this game. There's havoc plays defensively, first chunk plays offensively. Um, the, the first part, I mean, 
is this the most exciting game you've, you've ever been a head coach of? And also, oh, yeah, how, definitely head coach. Yeah. <laughs> but, is there is there another game in, in your history, player or coordinator, that matches up to something as, as kind of up and down, back and forth, and like four hours long like this? No, I don't think so. I think it's a it's an amazing game. Uh, two great teams, like I said, and, and uh, we got some work to do. I know that. Um, but you know, hats off to those guys. They're they're a really good team, and, and they came out and played hard. You're on a nine game winning streak and live for another week. Uh, could you talk a little bit about playing playing next week? Yeah, I think we just you know come back to work tomorrow. Um, tomorrow Saturday, I might get you on Saturday off. I'll give you Saturday off. Get back to work on Sunday, and uh, that's what we do every week. We got a great team, great coaches. They'll put together a great plan and go out to, to North Dakota State and see what happens. Got to ask Alex or something. Yeah. You know how it's going. Oh, you want to shake? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can. You can do something. No, you can do something. You just caught me on guard. My bad. Where did you find them? Did you bring those with you? Yeah, you, these are shades. I, um, yeah, these shades I bring with me. No, not for the pictures. I just put it on after. <laughs> I was tired. Uh, my stomach hurting, so I just like, put my shades on and sit down. When you, when you get this late into a game, like what what are you thinking? Like, at, does every muscle hurt? Are you just mentally exhausted? How are you how are you still getting out on the field? You try. That's a good question. So it's not about every muscle hurting. It's about what do you what do you think about during that play? What do you think about doing your assignment? Are you thinking about everybody else's assignment? Are you worried about everybody else? Or are you doing your one eleven? So when it comes down to a last one like that, I have faith in your brothers. You know that's why it's a team sport. You know it feels a one man sport. You know everybody. I said, men should be getting on notoriety this and that, but it's all about the offense, like I said, but it's all about teammates and everything. So it's all about doing your 11 On the last play, I had a job, you know, just play contain on the quarterback. And I did my job. My job wasn't to go down to the end zone, you know, the pass or scramble out or do something. My job was to play the quarterback, and I did my job, and we prevailed. This is a pretty elite offense. I mean, what what were they throwing at you guys that that caused you to adjust? And and what was the most difficult part about trying to defend them all game? The most difficult part is when you have to guard five different dudes on your team. You know, number four, number ten, number twelve, number sixteen. This guy, this guy, this guy. And you have so much talent on the field. Like I said, that's the number one team in the nation. Of course, it's going to be talented everywhere. It's all about how you game plan. And it's kind of hard game playing against good players because good players find a way against other good defenses. But it's all about who sticks it out at the end and who comes up, comes up up top, you know. And that's what we did. Hats off to those guys. You know, those guys are number four is a tough runner. <laughs> tough runner, you know. That, that guy gave us, he gave us problems, you know. Um, other than besides him just wrapping up. But it's just, end of the day, it's a blessing to be in a situation, you know. So many people come into the season at the end of September thinking what they want to reach for right now. And only four teams get to make it this far every time. Four eight teams, you know, so it's a blessing to say that we came down to Sacramento. We knocked out the number two team in the nation and we're gonna keep on moving forward. Are are y'all locked in when when a game is like this, or do you ever kind of look up at any point when there's a shift in possession or TV come out and be like, damn, this is a good game right now? Um, yes, but at the same time, you know, like I said, we coming in playing the number two team. You can't expect less. This is what you got to expect, you know. That's what happens when you go against the number one offense and the number two team in the nation. A high scoring game, you know. And that's no excuse to the way we perform in defense. Because we haven't let up a score like this all season, nowhere near that. Only team the only team did that was Nevada as an FBS school and they put up like it's forty one. But God gave us another week to prepare another game and fix our corrections, you know, because we all made a lot of mistakes.